What's up guys, this is Adit from Tech is Easy and today I'm going to show you how to use Google Lens. So if you have an Android phone, I'm sure you'd have read about Google Lens. So first I'll just show you how to install it and then I'll show you all of the different features which you have over here. So let's get started. So Google Lens is only available for Android phones and in most of the phones it's built in. But if it isn't, you can just go to Play Store and search Lens. And after that, just click on Google Lens and then open it or update it. And once you've done that, you can just open it. And now I'm going to show you all of the different things that you can do using Google Lens. So let's get started. So the first thing which is used by most of the people is search. So let's say you just have a picture and you want more info about it. So whether it's a bird, animal or anything like that, Google Lens will give you the answer. So right now I just have a picture of this mountain and if I want to know where it is from, I can select it and now if I just swipe up, I can see the answer. So this is the name of the mountain and you can get more pictures if you want and then if you want more information, just click on search and then it'll take you onto Google and you can get more info. So this is one which I really like because this can be used for almost everything. Now I'll show you the second option at the bottom which is text. So recently iOS came out with a way that you can take a picture and then copy the text from the picture. But this feature has been on Android for a long time and I'll show you how it works. So right now as you can see I have a newspaper and I'll just take a picture of it. And as you can see it's already highlighted all of the text. And now based on what I want to do I have two options at the bottom. To select all, so if I click on that then I can select what part of the text I want. After that I can copy it, copy to my computer, listen to it or translate it. After that the next feature is translate. So let's say I want to make English into another language like German. So I'll just take a picture of the text. So all of this is in English and it'll auto detect English and now I'll just have to change this to let's say German and now as you can see it's translated it. And again the same way you can copy it, listen to it, share it with others. So even this will be really helpful if you go to a place where you don't speak the language. So now I've gone to the next option which is homework. For this if there's any question and you want the answer for it, you can just take a picture and then it'll search for the answer and give you all of the top sites. So I'll show you how that works. So right now I'm just taking a picture of a question. After that I just have to select exactly the question which I want. So you'll have to move these boundaries and then select it. And now as you can see it's copied the text and now if I just swipe up I can get all of the top sites which will give me the answers. Then the next option is to take a photo of products or barcodes and it's under the section of shopping and this is quite self-explanatory so you can just take a picture of a barcode and then you'll get the name of the product. After that in places it's similar to the first one which I showed you about mountains. If there's a certain building and you want to know its name or the address of it you can just take a picture of that or select an image and then you'll get all of the answers and now the last section is dining. So basically if you take a picture of some food or a menu and you want more information about the restaurant or about the dish then you can do that using dining. So right now I just have a picture of a pizza and if I click on it then as you can see it's given me more information about it. So this is basically how it works. Personally I find Google Lens extremely helpful whether it's converting a PDF into a Word document this is really handy. So I hope this video helped you and if it did don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Goodbye.